Right, it's about the 11th or 12th of May. I'm still in St Neots, so although I've been going off every day to different places like Northamptonshire, Northampton, Castle, um, the churches there, all tied up with Simon St Liz the Crusader, my 24th great-grandfather. I've also been to Huntington and you've got um, dedicated to the Earls of Huntington, including my 24th great-grandmother, um, Matilda of Huntington. Um, there was a castle there which I visited, the mound, that is, the Mott, Bailey, um, all, you know, overgrown, just mounds. Um, a, a lot of history there about Oliver Cromwell in Huntington, where he was born. Um, a lovely museum there dedicated to him. Uh, also mention of the de Clares and all that. Richard Fitzgilbert de Clare. The same when I went to Crowland Abbey, where Wolfioff, my 25th great-grandfather, was buried after being beheaded by William the Conqueror. He's Matilda's father, Matilda of Huntington's father. Wolfioff also has a statue um, of him, along with William the Conqueror, on the outside walls of Crowland Abbey. That is also very much tied up with Herod the Wake. We've got people that were connected to Herod the Wake, married him. I can't remember, without the tree in front of me, I can't say exactly who it was. I just can't remember. Um, also, the Declares were very prominent there, as they were everywhere, including Judith de Lens, the wife of Wolfioff, the niece of William the Conqueror. Um, she betrayed her husband, really, apparently, but when we don't know if it's true. And she also um, had to flee herself from him. But he, obviously she was his niece. She, he forgave her. She be, became a very powerful, rich, one of the richest women ever uh, in English history. So there's lots and lots of history around this area. That is why I've come here. I am going back to Dullingham, Barrow Green and all that tomorrow going to that area but our medieval ancestors are very rooted all around this way they were they got everywhere actually because they were so powerful and they were given lots and lots of lands um, Simon St Liz actually did die at, on a crusade in the end he was successful in the first crusade uh, where he modeled a church he built in Northampton on one in Jerusalem, the Holy Scepter, which I've been inside, by the way. So today is like a rounding up before I go back to, um, well, I'm not going home yet. I, I'm, I've had to have today to rest, really, and just do some pottering about. So I've, it's been very intensive. The um, my, my four days has been very, very intensive. A lot of traveling, a lot of negotiating traffic, motorways, junctions, oh, you know, it's been like car parks. I did go on a train to Huntington, which I was glad I did. That was a nice, pleasant journey. And it cost me £2.80 return. But it cost a lot more to drive and park. Um, anyway, this in front of me, this scene, people are saying, what do you keep sharing this field for? This is the common land of St Neots here, and there are walks all over it that I haven't got time to discover. Of course I would. I've seen people walking over there, and I don't know where that goes. I should have asked the, somebody coming through a gate then. Whether that's a big estate. There is, I know, a big country park area called Priory Park, which is further over that way. So whether that links up with that, that would be a lovely round walk to have done today. It has been terrible weather. We've had torrential, torrential rain downpours. Even a minute ago, there was an outbreak with hailstones. I couldn't go out without my umbrella. and I didn't put my waterproofs on. I managed to guard myself very, very quickly. But it means I've got to carry a lot on my back. I've just been shopping for the paper and a few cakes. The plan was to maybe get a souvenir today in town. I could do with even another day. It's supposed to be no rain tomorrow, just to explore all this area as well. 
and it's all tied up with our ancestors this place okay um we are very much grounded here in the past overnight right this is called Payne's mill obviously a mill i'm not quite sure what sort of mill it was it's obviously not a water mill a mill for making something or other isn't it maybe shoes i don't know sort of mill I'll have to look it up but here it is it's now residential um it's run by a housing association as all these houses are built with similar brick uh, it's possible there were workers cottages around here as well um there's no plaque as such I'll have to go online to find out more about it that's it so it's, it's a prominent feature in of St. Neots. I don't actually, well I see it's a problem, it's the first time I spotted it. I hadn't seen it till this morning when I went in town. I'm just going around the nooks and crannies of the town at the moment to um, get an impression of the town. Look at that old uh, fire alarm, nearly as big as the one I, well not, it's, it's bigger than the one I had at my old place but we had a huge alarms like that outside our doors so it is a big impressive building I'm so, I'm so glad they preserved it and made use of it I expect there is a bit that's open at some point I mean it's a mill all those opening doors there for loading and unloading corn or something like that isn't it it's going to be wheat grain Things would have come out the windows there and um, hoisted up sacks of grain or something. All the way up through there. Yeah, Payne's Mill it's called. Rent's going to be poor again in a minute. It's supposed to improve the weather tomorrow. Hopefully it will improve. A very impressive building though, isn't it? They look old, they're 18... Either 1860 or 1890, those little cottages there. There is a plaque on the wall. Look, look at that. I've got a video of it. It's history, isn't it? Githera, probably. Be aware of this building. She grew up in Sydney, so I don't know if she did or not. Yeah, look how powerful! What a powerful statement! The people that owned that, though. Look, this is my mill. You will work for me. <sighs> Button end. Button end. And then we've got Albion cottages. Eight. 1890 written on the wall there 1890 so yeah that that is an impressive building St. Niet's Mill right <laughs>